Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day, kind of, not really. But yeah, we are gonna start off with breakfast. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at drinking hot stuff. I'm gonna get started with some breakfast. I woke up with this really random craving. It's called papolo, which translates to rice burger. I know it sounds a little weird, but it tastes so good. And I used to eat this when I was in college, when I was living back in Korea. And I totally forgot about it, but I dreamt about it. And now I have to make it. Oh, look who woke up from their slumber. Stomach is going crazy. Put some mayo. Mm. This reminds me of my college days. <laughs> I actually loved eating food like this where it was just packaged very compact and you can eat it really fast and easy on the go and I don't have to like sit down and eat. My closest friends attended other schools and I didn't really have friends at my own college because one, I'm just a very like shy and introverted person. And another reason is, and I think this is like a big factor is I entered college in the fall but in Korea the first semester actually starts in the springtime so by the time I went to college my class of students were already there for a full semester so they had already made friends and whatnot and so by the time I was there I was kind of like the new kid I didn't know anyone so yeah I would say for the most part like 90% of my college I ate by myself and so I just liked having things like this where I could just like eat casually sitting outside or in between classes. If I were to be invited to like a 10 year reunion, there's like kind of no point in me going because I don't really know anyone. I was pretty much a loner in college, which is fine. I feel like I learned to really depend on myself. It, at first it was kind of weird eating alone. And then after a while, like it was the best. <laughs> I would just like eat, watch my Korean drama on my phone or study, things like that. All done. Today's menu is mapadubu, also known as mapo tofu. I think there's a few different ways to make it. I'm just gonna wing it.
And there we have it. When I was younger, I used to eat hot Cheetos with rice and ham. Did anyone else do that or was that just me? I would get a piece of ham, I would put rice and lay a piece of hot Cheeto, wrap it and eat it. And I thought it was the most delicious thing ever. I'm gonna try it. Oosh. That actually still tastes really good. <laughs> you guys watching this are probably thinking I am crazy. One of my favorite snacks to make is chili oil dumplings. I get these at H Mart. In goes the mango chunks, peach slices, boom, mango, lots of greens, some oat milk. And enjoy this while watching my current drama. It's been a while since I watched Korean drama, but the one I'm watching right now is 39 and it's so sad. Be doing a little solo drinking because pajon goes really well with bakoli, which is Korean rice wine. So I have Korean pancake mix. Since we're gonna be doing a little solo drinking, I wanted to make another anju. Anju is food that you eat while you're drinking. This is called buk. In English, it's acorn jelly. make the bulk salad, the onions, carrots, also cut up a little bit of red peppers. Put a little soy sauce, some sesame oil, some hot pepper powder, sesame seeds, Mm. 
Cheers, everyone. Ooh, that tastes real good. Mm. I am so happy right now. Everything turned out so good. I am drinking my rice wine. I feel like my dad would be really proud of me right now. <laughs> Brown sugar bubble milk tea cream bar. I'm so, so full right now, but there's always room for dessert. Cheers. Mm. 